I'm going to welcome to the stage our first performer. Now, it's always tough to be the one that has to break the ice and play the first song of the night. So I ask you, please, to put a little extra love and a little extra excitement into your applause. And welcome to the stage, Mr. Tony Moore! Thank you very much. No joke. <clears throat> You gotta get yourself up The sun is shining but the day won't wait for you If you're not there Everybody else will take your share Cause backseat drivers are just survivors So grab the wheel and take control And live far today it's the present that you've been given Don't dream away Precious moments You could be living now You gotta get out of bed Motivate your anky bones You sleepy head Don't hesitate Cause everybody else is wide awake Don't be lazy It drives me crazy To see you miss the boat again So live far today It's the present that you've been given Don't dream away Precious moments You could be living right here and now there's no future if you don't try to live far today far today it's the best day of your life and it lasts so little time to waste it is a crime It's a crime, yeah, 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 yeah. So live far today. It's the present that you've been given. Don't dream away precious moments. You could be living right here and now. There's no future if you don't try to live far today. Today, it's the best day of your life. 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 Tony Moore, and uh, I've made a few notes uh, because I want to make sure that I um, get the right kind of questions for you. Obviously, you're, you're very important here at the Bedford, uh, looking after all of the music and all of the artists down here. Uh, how long have you actually been running the Bedford now? Well, I've been here at the Bedford for about three and a half years now. I was at a venue before that that I started called the Cashmere Club, and that ran for about six years. And when it finally closed, um, it was a bit hard really because I've been working six nights a week. And uh, I was fairly institutionalised after six years of six nights a week and found myself wandering the streets trying to commit a song, hoping they'd put me back inside again. Right at the, time. The, uh, the owner of, uh, of the Bedford approached me and said, did I want to start running the music down here? So I did. And uh, it, was a, it was a great move for me, uh, not only because I live five minutes away, but because it's such a wonderful building. It's fantastic here. What was it like before you were here? Well, there was music before, but I think that the um, people who were organising one of the music um, weren't running it quite to the same level that we're trying to do it now and certainly weren't doing it as often. It was only uh, happening one night a week and uh, we've changed that. We now do it four nights a week and uh, expanded the reputation for what we do down here quite a lot. You're the host down here and you look after all of the music but you're also an artist as well. Is it, is it tricky to be 
the host and the artist as well. Well, it's really hard to be a host and an artist because I have to wear two hats, or two invisible hats. Uh, obviously, as the host, my job is to kind of be in charge of the night and to be aware of, of everything that's going on, including whether you know people are getting their drinks spilled on them, or where the next artist is, or if the sound's okay, or how long I've got to talk in between songs, and all the essential information I have to impart. Then when I'm being an artist, tricky now because I have to switch that mode off and try and think creatively and, and focused and just be the singer and the songwriter. So sometimes for me uh, the transition is really difficult to make. Maybe for an audience they don't they don't notice that problem but for me it's it's hard to get into that zone. So as a, as a performer and a writer um, I'm sure you, you've got uh, influences like all of the other writers that, um, uh, that have been interviewed down here. So who are the biggest heroes and inspirations for you? Well um, like many Performers, you know, um, the Beatles were a big influence on me, the melody and the diversity of material. But I'm also a big fan of artists and songwriters like Paul Simon and Sting, um, and a lot of the progressive rock stuff like Pink Floyd and Genesis and Supertramp. Um, and uh, artists like Elton John and Billy Joel, kind of classic singer songwriter based melodic stuff. Over the years that you've been uh, writing songs, has your writing changed? Has it developed? Yeah, I mean, I, I've um, as a songwriter, I, I feel that my strongest songs have been written in the last five or six years. And, and I think that's partly because I've been surrounded by some incredibly talented performers who've gone off to, to sign record deals from starting from nowhere. And I've seen that progression and seen how they've crafted their songs and crafted their performance. And, uh, mm. So I think even though I've been writing for many, many years, I, I see that, that I've managed to hit something that I feel very confident about. Now, one of the things that, that you're very well known for uh, here at the Bedford is your collection of shirts. Uh, it, it seems to me that every time somebody comes down to, to see the shows here, you've got a different shirt on. They're quite dramatic. Well, I have, I have a lot of shirts, and, and, and uh, I, people do comment on the shirts I have. I think I have probably somewhere in the region of 250 shirts, um, all colour-coded. The rest of my flat's a mess, but my shirts are very colour-coded. Well, it? oh, it's um, fascinating. Um, and, and where do you see yourself in a year's time? In a year's time, I think what, what I'd like to be doing is, is working still on, on two levels with the Bedford, but, but taking the Bedford to a, um, a, a bigger stage, maybe taking the Bedford on tour as the Bedford bandstand, um, having a Bedford stage at some festivals, um, and putting those shows together, but also being an artist and, and taking my own album and um, looking for some distribution and trying to, you know, I, I've got to a point in my life where I think I can balance both things to some degree because there's a great team that run the technical side of Bedford, but creatively I, I still have a lot to, to bring yeah. to it. But I'd like to see Bedford on a bigger stage and my record in record shops all over the world. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Have a great show tonight. It's been a pleasure to meet you. And I feel like we've known each other a long time. And uh, I look forward to seeing your career grow and blossom with interest. I forget to say that I love you It's not that I don't care But sometimes life just all comes at once And I am unaware But then I catch myself Being someone else
been lacking love You're trying hard not to let it show So Rest your head upon me gently Let me soothe your saddened soul There's nothing left Thank you very much. Ho, ho, ho! 